What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to the Versus series. This is the series where I take two similar elements from Black Ops 4, I put them side by side, have a look at their stats to find out which one is better. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the KN57 versus the Maddox. And this may seem like a strange comparison because their rate of fire isn't really all that comparable. But when you start looking at their ranges and the actual time to kill values, these guns are actually very close to each other. So let's start off with some of the more important stats. When it comes to number of shots it takes to kill, the Can 57 will kill in 4 to 6 shots, whereas the Maddox is a 5 to 6 shot kill. This doesn't really mean much though till we have a look at the rate of fire, and as you can see here, the KN has a significantly slower rate of fire at 550 rounds per minute, whereas the Maddox is 722 rounds per minute. So that does make up for the fact that the KN kills in 4 shots at close range, and the Maddox kills in 5. Also, I do want to point out, and this is very important as we go through this comparison, the KN57 has access to rapid fire, which will take our rate of fire up to 588 rounds per minute, which is still noticeably slower than the Maddox, but it definitely helps our time to kill value out by a noticeable amount. Speaking of time to kill, our base time to kill values for the KN57 are going to be 327 milliseconds up close, which is very, very good. This is competitive with SMGs at point blank ranges. It's actually better than a few of the SMGs at point blank ranges. And it drops off to 545 milliseconds in the six shot kill range. As for the Maddox, it's just a few milliseconds slower up close at 332 milliseconds. And keep in mind at 60 frames per second, they technically kill on the exact same frame up close. And in its 6-shot kill range, it doesn't drop off to nearly as slow as the KN57. You will still have a very respectable time to kill at 416 milliseconds. Of course, when we're looking at this comparison, we do have to mention rapid fire on the KN here. This will reduce our minimum time to kill down to 306 milliseconds, which is very, very fast. And within the 6-shot kill range, it will now be 510 milliseconds. Now, all of these values don't really mean a whole lot until we have a look at the ranges as well. So, as you can see here, the 4-shot kill range on the KN is just a little bit shorter than the 5-shot kill range of the Maddox, but they are pretty comparable here. So, up close, they're going to be quite competitive with each other. At those mid-ranges for the KN, it does kill a little bit slower. We're talking one frame slower than the Maddox at 436 milliseconds. Whereas the Maddox, like I said, the slowest it will be killing, assuming you're hitting all of your shots, is going to be 416 milliseconds. But if we are taking an objective look at these two right here, you can see that the Maddox is technically superior overall to the Can 57. However, we haven't factored rapid fire in, and in public matches at least, you're going to be using rapid fire most of the time with the Can 57, at least that's what I would recommend. And when we insert the new time to kill values with rapid fire, you can see that the CAN 57 is now superior to the Maddox, and there's nothing you can do to the Maddox to reduce that time to kill. Now, of course, there's still more to this story, so let's move into recoil. And looking at them side by side here, the key thing you'll notice with the CAN 57 is it kicks upwards and then side to side in a very consistent sort of a V pattern. Whereas the Maddox has what I like to call the umbrella pattern where the initial shots are very consistent. They will kick pretty much straight upwards, slightly to the right, and then it will start swaying pretty strongly side to side once you get into like the 10th shot of full auto fire. When it comes to predictability and controllability, I would say with the Maddox, just for those initial shots, we're talking like the initial six or seven shots, it is absolutely more predictable and more controllable than the KN. However, if you're firing more than those six or seven shots, the Maddox does become more difficult, in my opinion, to control than the CAN 57. The CAN 57 does bounce back and forth a little bit more right from the get-go, but in general, it does kick within a relatively small area. It doesn't get too extreme when it goes side to side. In addition to this, with the CAN 57, we do have access to the grip attachment, whereas with the Maddox, we don't. So just having a look at the side by side here, you can see that tightens the pattern up really nicely with the KN. And in this situation here, I would definitely take the KN over the Maddox. Moving on to our handling and mobility stats, for our aim down sight time, both of these have the same aim down sight time at 300 milliseconds. And with both of them, we have access to the quick draw attachment, which will reduce it down to 260 milliseconds. However, one of the big upsides to using the Maddox over the KN is you do have access to Quick Draw 2, which will reduce your aim down sight time all the way down to 170 milliseconds, which is faster than all of the SMGs in this game. It is insanely fast. So that's actually one of the key reasons that the Maddox is the better gun in competitive play. I'll just say that right up front. In competitive play, you don't have access to rapid fire, so CAN 57 is kind of out of the picture in that area. But on top of that, the Maddox has access to quick draw too. And that extra 90 milliseconds of accurate fire, assuming you're snapping on a target in that gunfight and you weren't pre-aiming, 
That makes a huge difference in a gunfight, especially a really competitive gunfight where you are roughly equal skill level to your enemy. As for our sprint out time and movement speeds for both of these assault rifles, they're both equal and standard for assault rifles at 300 milliseconds for our sprint out time and 95% for our movement speed. We see a similar story with the aim down sight stray speed. They both have standard aim down sight stray speeds at 40%. But they both have access to the stock attachment, and the stock attachment affects these guns a little bit differently. With the KN, the stock attachment takes our aim down sight stray speed up to 69%, whereas with the Maddox, it only takes it up to 64%. It's not a huge difference by any means, but I did want to point out that the stock attachment is a bit better on the KN. This brings us into our magazine capacity, and with the KN57, we get a standard magazine of 35 rounds, whereas the Maddox has a standard magazine capacity of 40 rounds. So the Maddox is a little bit better in this area, but the KN has magazine attachments. With extended mags, you can bump this all the way up to 55 rounds, which is more like an LMG than an assault rifle. Or we also have access to the hybrid mag attachment, which will take it up to 45 rounds, and we'll also get a faster reload, which we'll look at in just a little bit. As for our total starting ammo, assuming we're not using attachments, the KN does have less total starting ammo at 105 rounds, whereas the Maddox has 120 rounds. Once again though, of course, if you're using extended mags or hybrid mags, you can increase that and actually get more total starting ammo than the Maddox with the KN. Moving on to our reload times, as you can see here, we get a standard reload time on the KN at 1.62 seconds, whereas the Maddox is a little bit slower at 1.77 seconds. Both of these are a bit on the slow side for assault rifles. They definitely don't stand out in this area, but they also both have pretty decent magazine capacities. I should also point out that with both of these, we do have the ability to reduce our reload time. With hybrid mags on the KN, we can cut that all the way down to 0.92 seconds, which is extremely fast. And with the Maddox with fast mags, we can cut this down to 1.05 seconds, which is still extremely fast, just a little bit slower than the KN still. So with that, that pretty much covers all of the important stats that I wanted to compare between these guns. I was actually quite surprised to find out how similar these guns are because they don't really feel similar. But when it comes to their performance and their ability in game, they absolutely are. The next thing I want to look at though, and this is definitely the difference maker for a lot of people, is the attachment choices for these two guns. Having a look here, with the KN57, we actually have some of the best possible attachments you can think of. We've got access to quick draw to reduce our aim down sight time. We've got rapid fire to reduce our time to kill. We've got stock to be able to stray faster in gunfights. Hybrid mags to not only increase our magazine capacity to a very respectable size, but also essentially have an instant reload. We've got grip, so if you're having problems with recoil, you can cut down on that. And the little cherry on top, if you want to have a stealth build, we can use the suppressor with the KN. So with this gun, I would say we have one of the best attachment selections that you could possibly have in Black Ops 4, for an assault rifle at least. The only thing that would be missing would be like high caliber for instance. As for the Maddox, I would say this is one of the downsides overall is the attachments aren't really all that great. Yeah, you've got laser sight, which can be nice in close quarters, but really not that big of a deal. Fast mags, again, can be a nice little bonus, but it doesn't really help the performance of the gun like in an actual gunfight. The huge upside that I mentioned earlier, we do have access to two quick draw attachments, so I'm definitely going to give credit to the Maddox there. That is one of the things that makes the Maddox so powerful, especially in competitive modes. And also, we do get the stock attachment, even though it's not quite as good as the stock on the KN, it's still nice to have to be able to stray faster in gunfights. So at least when we're looking at public matches, I would say the KN is absolutely the clear winner in the attachments department. The only real area that the Maddox will beat the KN at in this area is that quick draw to attachments, and that just doesn't make up for all of the other awesome attachments you have available with the KN57. Also, just a brief note, we do have an operator mod for the Maddox that's the Echo Fire operator mod, makes it a really fast firing, like two round burst sort of a gun. There's really not much to say because at that point, it kind of changes the gun to the point where it's not even comparable to the KN. So it doesn't really fit within the scope of this video, but I did want to mention that it is available. And with that, we've now looked at pretty much everything that is worth comparing between these two guns. And now for the big question, which one of these guns is better, the KN57 or the Maddox? Well, personally, after looking at all of these stats and looking at them side by side, in public matches with no restrictions, it's very close. Both of these guns are absolutely top tier in my opinion, but I lean a little bit more towards the KN57. With that gun, especially if you're using rapid fire, you've got a better time to kill potential than the Maddox. 
in my opinion, you've got better recoil overall, if we're just talking overall recoil. Yeah, I would say you got better recoil with the Can 57. And on top of that, you've just got straight up better attachments to use on that gun. Of course, that's not to say that the Maddox is bad by any means. Like I said, I still consider the Maddox to be a top tier assault rifle. And I also do want to make that distinction. In competitive play, I do believe the Maddox is still the superior choice over the Can 57 due to those attachment restrictions. I'd be willing to bet if rapid fire were allowed in competitive play, you would definitely see the Can 57 more often than the Maddox. But to my knowledge, which is relatively limited in the current competitive scene, I don't really keep up with things. I'm pretty sure the Maddox is still kind of the king. And I think seeing a KN is still extremely rare, but I could be mistaken on that. But with that, we're going to wrap up today's episode of the Versus series. Of course, I'd like to know in the comment section below, which one of these two guns do you think is better? Do you think the KN is better overall or the Maddox? Also, if you guys are interested in checking out some other episodes from this series, I've covered things like the SOG 9mm versus the Switchblade, or the ABR versus the Swordfish. I will leave a link to the playlist down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.